This model kit review is of the uh, Fairy Firefly, and uh, it's the Mark I version, and it's a 148 scale model, and uh, it is by AZ Model Plastic Kits, and uh, looks like it says it contains some uh, photo etched parts. Uh, looking at the rest of it, here's uh, two options. And looking at the back here. We have a um, painting and decal guide. And we have um, these main options Ethiopian Air Force, uh, the Royal Thai Navy. Uh, well, this looks like this is probably a British version. The Royal Navy. Have a look at these uh, styrene plastic parts first. A uh, fair amount of detail, not a very smooth surface. It'll need a uh, once over with some sandpaper. It's quite rough. Here's our uh, stabilizer, and uh, the other side here is the same thing, quite rough. Here are our propellers, looks like our uh, guns or cannons, wheel well covers. And uh, it doesn't look like much on the inside here because we have photo etched parts. We'll have a look at those. Here are the wings. Lots and lots of surface detail here, but also it feels a little rough. And our wheels. And then it looks like it's been sitting on the tarmac. And it looks like we have a bomb here. Here's our spinner. Looks like that's come off already, as well as these two other parts for the tail hook and the other part that had come off for our stabilizer. <clears throat> Here are the photo edge parts, which is for our uh, instrument panel, as well as seat belts. There's the other part for the instrument panel. Here we have our canopy, which is uh, nicely molded. And then we have the resin parts. Looks like we're going to have a lot of detail here on these resin parts. And uh, there were no wheel wells included on the uh, styrene. That's because they are here uh, with an exceptional amount of detail. That is very impressive. That's going to be an amazing uh, wheel well. And here's the other side, as you can see, the same thing. Exceptional amount of detail. Looks like we have uh, parts of the fuselage here, and some more here. Really tremendous amount of detail. Here's the other side, look at that. Incredible. Here are our exhausts, and you can see they have, even have the holes drilled out. I know they're molded that way, but it's impressive. Here are our seats, also very nicely molded. And then uh, different uh, communications and radio options there. This is our air intake. Our uh, instrument panel. And this has got to be part of the cockpit here, with our control stick. Here are the wheels. And then we have a lot of little pieces that need to be cut off and glued on. It's always challenging working with, uh, with uh, resin parts because they can uh, fracture. They really are uh, brittle and uh, they have to be cut and then glued with super glue. And it uh, looks like we have a fair amount of extra little details down the bottom here. For some reason, these have been cut. Um, looks like they are supposed to be two separate sheets, but uh, it's interesting. Here's our instruction guide. First of all, shows you the uh, parts listings here. 
and then all the different resin parts and their numbers. I put together the uh, instrument panel and cockpit first. Requires a fair amount of painting, and uh, there's a lot of detail that's to be seen here. And uh, once that's done, that's then assembled into the uh, fuselage, and uh, exhausts go on, and the fuselage goes together. Then we uh, put the wings together with the wheel wells and uh, the uh, stabilizers that then goes onto the uh, fuselage and uh, then we have the uh, guns uh, all the additional parts like the uh, tail hook and uh, the propeller spinner goes on and uh, then the landing gear And the canopy and then the uh, wire is where the uh, decals go and uh, paint guide was on the back so all in all very impressive model um, a tremendous amount of detail